Mrs. Preddy, school librarian, here today to share a book I just read, Ghost Boy by Jewel Parker Rhodes. Start by thinking about what our main character, Jerome's grandma, said to his best friend. You can't undo wrong, can only do our best to make things right. The first chapter is titled Dead and begins like this. How small I look, laid out flat, my stomach touching the ground, my right knee bent and my brand new Nike stained with blood. I stoop and stare at my face, my right cheek flattened on concrete. My eyes are wide open, my mouth too. I'm dead. I thought I was bigger, tough, but I'm just a bit of nothing. I barely turned, sprinting, pow, pow, two bullets. Legs gave way, I fell flat, hard. I hit snowy ground. Ma's running, she's wailing, my boy, my boy. A policeman holds her back. Another policeman is standing over me murmuring, it's a kid, it's a kid. Ma's struggling. She gasps like she can't breathe. She falls to her knees and screams. I can't bear the sound. Sirens wail, other cops are coming. Did someone call an ambulance? I'm still dead. The policeman closest to me is rubbing his head. In his hand, his gun dangles. The other policeman is watching Ma. Then he shouts, stay back. People are edging closer, snapping pictures, taking video with their phones. Stay back, the policeman's hand cover his holster. More people come, some shout. I hear my name, Jerome, it's Jerome. Still, everyone stays back. Some curse, some cry. Doesn't seem fair. Nobody ever paid any attention to me. I skated by, kept my head low. When I read this, I couldn't believe it. You see, it was Carlos's gun. Jerome and his best friend Carlos just wanted to use the toy gun to scare the bullies. It was just to get the bullies to leave them alone. It looked like a real gun. Real enough to scare the bullies away. Real enough for the cops who see Jerome walking home from school to think it's real. The cop who shoots him and kills him. Now he's a ghost and he doesn't know what to do. His grandma seems to be able to sense he's near, but the only person who can really see his spirit is Sarah, the daughter of the cop who shot him. Jerome's ghost is joined by the ghost of Emmett Till, who was murdered in Mississippi long ago, and his death began the African-American civil rights movement. The lawyer asks, her prejudice can affect your thoughts, actions, whether consciously, knowingly, or unconsciously. During the preliminary hearing at the Chicago courthouse, ghost to Jerome says, the video shows me shot in the back. People knew this is the first time the lawyer has said it, but everyone knew this moment would come. He was running away. Why did you shoot? I was in fear for my life, Officer Moore's eyes are bleak. As a reminder, this hearing is not to determine innocence or guilt, says the judge, looking everywhere, yet nowhere. But rather, if there is enough evidence for the state to file criminal charges against Officer Moore. Jerome's spirit wants to scream, injustice, tragedy, not fair. I died too young, too soon. You'll have to check out the book to learn the rest of Jerome's heartbreaking and powerful story as the author draws connections through history and what we can learn from historical racism. As a reader today, I still remember Grandma's words, can't undo wrong, can only do our best to make things right. Back at the beginning of the book, the author says the book is dedicated to the belief that we can all do better, be better, live better. And that is Ghost Boy by Jewel Parker Rhodes.